Good morning. Today we're gonna hike to the Shafra Mountain viewpoint and hopefully the Santas Mountain. I think this hike will be anywhere between 20 and 30 kilometers. We will start by going to Ibn Alp, climb all the way through to the Shafra mountain viewpoint, hike the ridge to Santis, and from there on hike back. They're expecting some big rainfall later, but we will try to make sure we are hidden by them. So <laughs> Of hiking we hiked for three and a half kilometers and we climbed more than 500 meters so so far we're off to a great start we're closing in on Eben Alp After two hours of walking, we are almost reaching the Shafra mountain hut. We made it to the Shafra viewpoint. We're going down a little bit, get out of the wind, eat some food, and then we're going to continue all the way over the ridge. There's still quite some clouds in the air, so we're hoping they will clear up as well. Look at this view.
It's almost 10 kilometers. I think we made it to the best viewpoint so far. Really beautiful. Crossed over to the other side again, and now the weather is great. And the views as well. For the first time today, we can see the Santa's Mountain. Which is there. We still have a little bit to climb, but the weather looks great. Way better than last morning. After a bit of a flatter part, now the real climbing will start. And we'll also cross some snowy sections. We can see where we have to go. We still have 300 more meters to climb. We're closing in on the Santa's Peak, the views are incredible and we are walking in the snow.
So if you are not afraid of heights, it's very doable. If you are only a little bit afraid of heights, this might not be the hike for you. You also have to be in a very good physical condition and take enough water and food with you. We made it to Santis and so far we've been quite lucky with the weather. But the weather there, but the weather in Appenzell isn't that great. We're on top of Santos Mountains and we decided to wait a little bit because there's thunder. <laughs> we made it just in time to do this around. <laughs> It's the top of the Santis, start the hill and thunder like crazy. So we waited for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Now it's time to descend to Wasserauer. And hopefully we can skip the next thunder clouds. A lot of stuck is it, huh? Oh. Starting to heal a little bit again. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> We brought the proper clothing, but it's just not that pleasant.
definitely, also without the bad weather, one of the more spectacular hikes I've done in Switzerland. Man, oh man. Because of the rain, I didn't look at the map and we took a wrong turn. So now it turns out we didn't took the fastest way down at all. We made a big turn. We already descended 600 meters, but it's still raining. We made it to Megasalp, we already descended a thousand meters, I think we're not gonna wait here too long and we'll just move on all the way to Wasserauen, which lays another 600 meters lower. Stay up, say, and now we're going to Wasserauen. After 26 kilometers, I can see the car for the first time. It took us nine hours and ten minutes to get here. Look at this. So, we were not completely prepared for thunder, but we were prepared for the rain. We still fully enjoyed this hike. What a day it has been, and we made it. <laughs> 